Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. How's everybody doing? I'm so excited for this video because I've been waiting for these. Well, you know what it's like ordering from AliExpress. So I'm not sure when these arrived. Um, whoops. Okay, I think I know what these are. I wasn't sure what these were when I opened um, my mailbox, but I believe these are the two canvases that I told you guys that I ordered from my daughters. A lot smaller than I thought they were so we're actually gonna be measuring those today you guys know that I don't normally measure anything and then I think these are again from color whisper um, those are the it's the only company that I've ever gotten the boot from and a little disclaimer I've never had any problems with their boots because I've ordered two canvases from them before they were both in the boot the bubble boot is what you guys call this and they also have a foam roller. I have found, based off of research and my own experience, that if it has a foam roller and it's in the boot, that nine times out of ten, the canvas is just fine. There's no wrinkles or anything like it. I, but I've noticed that when it's in the bubble boot and there is no foam roller, that's when you get into having some problems. So we're going to open the small one first. I have a lot of stuff to unbox today. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through it all. Yes, I'm using kid scissors because I don't know what happened to my scissors. Yep, these are the ones that I ordered for my kids. So, I got two. These are a lot smaller than I thought they were going to be. But, they look okay. 20 by 20 is what they are. Or at least that's what this one says. I thought they were 25. I'm going to bust out the measuring tape today because I want to make sure that they're that size. Sometimes they measure the whole canvas, which is very misleading. Why? Let's, oh, okay. Threw me off there. So this is a pug. It's supposed to be a pug. Anyway, throw this away. Because my seven-year-old is obsessed with pugs. And I thought, oh yeah, these are going to be perfect size for them. Yay! So the key, it only has, what is going on with you guys today? Ten colors, which is good. And for the most part, everything is decently clear except for the ones. The ones are just too thin to be inside of that. I should have made them like bolded because you can barely see them. But considering that's the only dark color, which I'm assuming they're probably 310. They don't have the DMC numbers on here. But let me see if I can find number one in here. These are the drills. Let's see. My daughter really wants to use the Elizabeth Ward tray to do her diamond paintings. I think I'm going to let her use it as well. Man, these smell really strong. Have you guys ever built those model cars that come? They used to be really popular at Walmart. Now you can only get them like at craft stores, but they come in a box, like a kind of shoe box size, and it has a model car in it, and then it's got the paints and the primer and all the little pieces to build the engine and the glue. That's what these smell like. Yeah, really strong. So yeah, the DMC numbers are on the bags. They're just not on the canvas, which is okay because these are numbered 1 through 10. So I'll still be able to match the DMC numbers to put them in storage if they have extras. So this is what they look like. They look decent considering, yeah, not too many. Lots of tan. This color here, which is the color of him. And I should be two. Why does it look like he's white? Nine and six. Really? Look at nines and sixes are right next to each other, but they're not the same color, so. Let me see. Nine and six. Has to be this one. Yeah. So these are the two skin colors here, which is weird because nine looks really white on the canvas, but it's not. It's this tan color. I guess, a, I guess a printer can only print so many colors. But, um, yeah, that's the pug. 
This is for my seven-year-old. She... We've never really been dog people. We've always, always had cats. Um, and we just got had dogs the past couple of years. So yeah, poured glue, which is great. Um, we've only had dogs the past couple of years. And um, I... She... We always, we've had big dogs, and for some reason, she has been obsessed with pugs, which is really weird, because we don't know anybody who has a pug. Nobody in our family has small dogs, at least in our immediate family. They all have, like, good-sized dogs, like Labradors and um, Pit Bulls and stuff, but, yeah, my... Yeah, she just likes pugs, so I picked this one out for her, and the quality's pretty good. I'm pretty amazed with that, so I'll probably order from them again. I don't remember what store I ordered from, but I'll put it in the link. Oh my gosh, there's all kinds of drills over here from my other painting. I'll put it down below. And this one, okay, I'm already seeing some discrepancies here, which I find super annoying. Okay. So this canvas, first of all, it's a lot smaller. They're only partials, which, did I know they were going to be partials? I did not. I assumed they were going to be full drill because the pug is a full drill and the penguin is not. Um, so first, oh yeah, this they do have these, I guess they're instructions. I don't know, they're written in Chinese or Japanese. Don't come after me because I don't know the difference. Um, so this one has like the size on it and this one does it, which I guess is fine. But what I don't like, however, is how tiny this key is compared to how giant this key is, which is really weird. And considering this is a partial, it still has 10 colors. It's really weird. But yeah, this is what that looks like. It's a cute little penguin. Oh, and his mouth isn't even a drill. That sucks. Or his eyes. Well, that's okay. If they like it, I can always order them more. Um, the kit only came with a single placer. Um, okay. And then the drills. So I can get them open. It sucks like that these being in transit for so long is... I can tell where the seals are. So, here's the drills for those. 310, of course. Lots of purples, blues, and grays. So, oh, this one actually has the white because it's a penguin. I'm going to spend too much time going over those. I don't feel like we really need to. Yeah, 10 colors. And this one, put that back first. This one actually has the DMC codes on it, which is strange. I think, I just find that so weird that, like, why wouldn't you... Want, uh, you know what? Honestly, I found that the like Chinese suppliers, they almost like just don't care. It's like they know that people are going to buy their canvases anyway, so they don't care if there's any type of uniformity and consistency. They're just like, whatever, they're going to buy it because it's cheap, we know it, and we don't care. Um, so yeah, these are the two that I got from my girls, like that. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that they're going to be very happy with this. Um, this is for my five-year-old. She was actually saying like, mom, why didn't you get me an owl? So I will probably be ordering more for them. They're pretty cheap anyway. I think I only paid two, two dollars. Was it two dollars or three dollars? I don't know. They're very affordable. So I'm going to put these back. Maybe. Jeez. Okay. All right, so there's those. Oh, I was gonna measure them. Oh, I can still measure it because I wanted to see if it was a 20. Actually a 20. Oh no, this is not a 20. Are they measuring the hole? Wait. Why is it starting over? This is a weird, okay. So 10, yeah, it's not 20 centimeters. So they're counting the whole canvas. The whole canvas is a 20 by 20, which sucks. 
This is more a 15. 10, yeah, this is more of a 15. So it's probably 15 by 15. No, it's bigger. Yeah, this is a really weird sizing, you guys. Not a 20 by 20. Okay. Let's get into this one. All right. I just... I don't know, you guys. These... Can this bubble thing really be that much cheaper than a box? But, honestly, the boxes get squished. And I have found that these... Also, well, you know, these can get squished too. But if they have the foam roller, then most of the time, they're not as squished as they could be. So this should be three paintings, I believe, maybe, I think. You guys will have seen the thumbnail will show all of them. Wow, that's some pretty bright colors. I'm praying to the gods that this is everything I want it to be. Cut this tape. Maybe, maybe not. Come the F on. Ugh. Heat tape. Okay. Oh, okay, they're not as bright as I thought they were. Maybe. Oh my god, this makes me nervous. Very nervous. Wow. Look how long that is. Have you guys ever eaten at Jimmy John's? Diamond Art Club sandwiches remind me of Subway sandwiches. These remind me of Jimmy John's sandwiches because Jimmy John's sandwiches are like no volume. Did I only get two? I could have sworn I bought three. One, two, what? Huh? Did you see a Dave and Buster's commercial? Yeah. Aww. And some games are they like off? Well, that commercial is talking about like Dave and Buster's everywhere. It's not the Dave and Buster's here by us. Maybe. But I coughing. That's okay. She's fine. Okay. My daughter came in here and was talking about Dave and Buster's because... Why is that my internet going? I wanted to log in real quick and make sure that this order is okay because I could have sworn I ordered three. Um... Yeah, we live right next to El Paso, like literally right next to El Paso. And we were actually in that same area that the shooting happened yesterday. And we had actually just left that shopping center when that whole situation went down and it was very scary. I kept telling my dad, you don't hear those sirens? You don't hear those sirens? And he was like, no, I don't hear anything. And sure as shit, that's what it was. It, it was that shooting. And it was so freaking scary. We just, you know, when we were actually going to stop and go to the other side of that shopping center, which is where the mall is. And we decided not to at the last minute. We were just like, you know what? We'll just go to the mall on the outskirts of El Paso instead. And that's what we did. Well, I, we didn't go there, but I'm saying we just, we decided not to go there. Oh yeah, I did only order two. Okay, so, well, that's, that's my fault because I could have sworn I ordered three, but no, I got two. So anyway, yeah, and there's, there's a Dave and Buster's in that same shopping center. And that's what she was talking about because they were talking about closing. No, it's not in the same shopping center, but there's a Dave and Buster's near there. And, um we had heard that they had closed all the stores in that area and she was so concerned about Dave and Buster's being closed. So <laughs> yeah, it was a really scary situation. It was, it was a trip, you know, to be so close to something. Um, it's crazy because I lived about 20 minutes away from that shooting at the Aurora movie theater as well when that shooting happened. And it's just, it's, it's crazy. I just can't even... I'm just so glad that, you know, we went there 
because we were considering going there and my dad actually picked me up late yesterday and at the last minute we decided not to stop at that mall because we were running late and I'm just I'm glad that we did not stop there because of that so anyway back to happy things um here's the canvases they are on a foam roller they are they don't appear to be the same size oh because of the orientation so one of them is um, landscape and one of them is portrait they should both be the same size maybe they're not the same size let me look yeah one's a 40 by 55 and one's a 40 by 65 so the um, this one that's in landscape is a 40 by 55 and then the one down here is a 40 by 65 so okay I stopped to get a drink of water real quick but on to the canvases so I really like it when they include oh yeah this came with the one and the three placer I like that because my girls love to do the three placers and I don't like to keep switching the pens so both of these are on the same foam roller this one also has some more damn tape on it so I'm gonna let this one relax a little I like to unroll it a little bit and then let the thickest part or the thinnest oops looks like the tape is messed up on the end I don't know if you guys saw that this was folded back and the tape was coming up you can already see where it is a little bit dirty there but hopefully that shouldn't be an issue I think I'm gonna take an exacto knife and take that off because it's a lot that's some tape that I don't want to deal with okay I'm gonna take this tape off here get this going so yeah um i okay so i don't have any more diamond paintings coming in at this point except for the mystery diamond painting that i will be doing um with the mystery diamond painting group um i did sign up for the july well, you sign up in July and then you get, you have to order the first two weeks of August. And so, um, I'm still going back and forth with my partner. I got partnered with somebody in the same state as me. And, um, she doesn't live like that close to me, but okay. Got that out. But yeah, so as far as I'm aware, that's going to be the only diamond painting that I have coming in because I think I really need to put myself on a no buy Okay, my kids kept coming in. They're probably going to come in a few more times while I'm doing this. So, this is the... The portrait one. So, with the double-sided tape... What do you need? Okay, go. With the double-sided tape, you never want to roll it backwards. I think I did that in a video um, once, but you never want to roll it backwards. So, yeah, this is the landscape one, and I'm going to have to do it sideways. Did I make a crease? No, it's just the, the glue. I put it on the edge of my desk and pull it out this way. And then I put it under my lip here in my desk back here a little bit. It does, doesn't go in a lot, but it goes in enough to help me out. That's, oh, well, maybe, maybe not. It's just not having it today. So I have like these creases here. That's for me. That's from the tape here from trying to unravel it. So I'm going to undo this as much as I can. I might have to stop talking and go into a voiceover if my kids keep coming in. Just FYI. So far, I'm okay right now, but I just want, I really want to get these videos done. I didn't show you guys the image yet. So, no, this is the landscape one that I'm doing, right? Yeah, this is the image right here. Looks a little bit dull on the paper, but usually when you print on matte paper, it does look dull like that. 
So I'm hoping with the drills that it's going to look a lot better. And I'm hoping that her body's not washed out like it is on here. The images online did not look washed out. They looked amazing. The glue goes right to the edge right here, which is good. I like that because it's not covering the key. It does go right to the edge. So far, it looks okay. I can't... Oh, yeah. Let me do it. Okay. I'll put you right for now. Can I bring you guys out a little more without you falling? No. It's about as... Nope. You're going to fall. That's about as much as I'm going to be able to bring you guys out so you can see. Okay. So we've got like this little light orb here and some more in the back. Here are some little ones at the top. Can you see those? No. The measuring tape. Okay, so yeah, there's all the little orbs at the top. So far, I'm happy with the blue. Looks more purple here. I'll have to look at the what DMC those are. I would hope they're a dark blue. Let me see. E. B is an 820. An 820, yep, is a dark blue. All right. Okay. Let's undo this a little bit more and then we'll work from the other side. So I think I'm going to see today about going and getting. I think my daughter's calling me. Maybe not. I think I'm going to see today about going and getting one of those wood, not wood, but the poster board envelopes to store these because I can probably store them flat a lot easier than I can store them rolled up. And it'll probably just be better for the canvas anyway to store them flat. I don't have anywhere to hang them. So I know that that's what you guys are probably thinking. Let me see. I feel like, I'm sorry if my head is in the way. We do have a little crease here. Nothing major. Could this be from me and rolling it? Um, here on the bottom, you can kind of see it right there in the light. See it right here? Um, it's a very sticky. I feel like these training wheels are quite large. And I'm hoping that they don't show through behind the drill. Because... A lot of the time, the training wheels are very small. I feel like these ones are gigantic. So I hope that they don't show. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Some of them are black and some of them are white, depending on the color. But for the most part, the symbols are very clear. Um, this symbol takes up most of the space in the training wheel. So that's good. So this, I don't know if she has a particular name. Um, these are by an artist by the name of Victor. I can't pronounce his last name, but I will put it here. Um, I don't know if he sells these. I tried contacting them before I purchased these images a while back. Like... Uh, months ago at this point and I never heard a response back you know I just wanted to know if they were selling these diamond paintings in another country you know and that I was interested in in ordering them I never got a response back so I did go ahead and order the paintings you know so I do know this artist does have a website though, but I don't remember if you could purchase anything off of it or how it worked. I just remember looking them up and finding their contact information because I wanted these paintings. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to roll these back up. I feel like I want to. Just to keep like put them store them but at the same I just don't have anywhere to store them flat right now and I have pets that's my problem with pets is you guys pet hair just gets everywhere okay and then this stupid shirt that I'm wearing let me okay 
You guys can probably see it coming in and out. Okay. So there's a little speck right here, but that's on the edge. I think instead of using double double sided tape, washi tape, I think I'm going to try to get an exacto and take it to this edge here. The tape meets up perfectly on the top edge, on the bottom edge, and on the other edge over here where the, where the, the legend is. It meets up perfectly. So I'm really happy with that. On this edge, it does stick out a little bit. This is probably where they started it and then went this way. But, okay, that's a, this is her hair. So it doesn't look as bright as I was hoping it would look. Mm, I don't know. I'm so nervous because I want it to look nice. But it doesn't look like her body is going to like fade into this it looks pretty decent this is the same crease i showed you guys earlier right here you can barely see it okay i i don't know you guys i'm so nervous for this painting i just i find these images images absolutely gorgeous and i just want them to be perfect <sighs> trying to think how I just gave my daughter that big box too I could have used that actually I have another box that I can probably use okay so this is the key this video is way longer than I want it to be already it's super tiny but legible so that's all that matters they've got a lot of letters but also a lot of symbols how many whoops let me see how many colors it has Holy cow, 45 colors. So, I'm going to do inventory. It looks like somebody already did inventory. But I'm going to do it again. And then we'll put them back and we'll go into the next one. I'll probably speed that up for you guys. Actually, I'm just going to stop it. Not do, show that to you guys on camera because I feel like this video is already too long. So, I'm going to do inventory and then I'll come back. Okay, you guys, everything is there. Oh, yeah, mark it's a 310. Okay, yeah, everything's there. Good to go. Oops, I closed this and forgot to put that back in there, so I'm going to have to do that. And then, yeah, this is the next image. This is a 45 by 65. And then, um, let me see. Let me get the prices up real quick so I can tell you. The 45 by 65, I paid 21 28 for it and then for the bottom one that I just showed you guys I paid $15.35 which is very good pricing in my honest opinion so this one's in two strips and this goes this way let's see which one of these is on top the one on the right here I'm going to do that one first, if I can get it, see what this bad boy looks like, the tape, pretty close to the top, teeny tiny bit of it's sticky right there for some reason, I don't know why, but it is, they could have cut the tape before, they could have laid some down and then cut it, so, okay, that's a really bright red, that's going to be... I can't quite tell what that's going to be. Her hair that comes down from her face? Yes. Okay. And this line here is where her arm is going to be. I'm going to have to come up with a new display for you guys so you can see from further back. I just hate showing so much of myself in the things. But I think I'm going to have to start putting my tripod like up higher so you guys can see better okay 
Um, okay, this red makes me nervous. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I have a feeling that it's probably 666. Let me see what letter that is. The image looks great, though. It looks really good considering the rest of the image. Wow, I think this one's even better than the first one. There's a couple of um, rivers here that I'm going to have to fix. Oh, we didn't even look at the back of the canvas. We'll have to look at it in a minute. But the front of it's pretty good. So what symbol is this? You might see my head. I'm sorry. E. 606. Okay, so that makes me a little bit better that it's not bright red, which is good. So it's probably an orange red. So two tiny rivers so far on this side. That's an easy fix with an X-Acto knife. Actually, my knife is right here. I'm going to doctor it. I told you guys I would show you this one day. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to put you guys at an angle. I'm going to zoom you in so you can see what I'm going to do. Okay. So you can see these rivers here. What I do is cut just like this with the X-Acto knife. You can even tell already how it's kind of flattening a little bit. I hope it's not like blurry for you guys. When you zoom in, you kind of lose some quality. I'm going to do the same thing to over here. It just cuts it and allows it to flatten and it doesn't mess up the canvas at all. Sometimes if it's a really thin one, I will just go straight across like that. And um, it will, it's a tiny one right here too, really tiny one. Then it'll allow it to flatten and then what I do is I just push it down with my finger. It doesn't mess up the sticky in any way at all. And then when I go over it again right now, I'll go over it with like a ruler to like flatten it more. And then you can't, you don't have a big bubble there anymore. So yeah, back out. Put the lid on this sucker before I kill myself with it. All right. So I'm pretty happy with this image. I'm really nervous about this bright red hair, but that's how bright her hair is supposed to be. I wouldn't say bright, but it's a deep orange color right here. So I'm just hoping that it comes out right. I'm going to pay attention when I do the kitting, not the kitting up, but when I take inventory right now to see what color that is, like what shade, so that I can see how it's going to look. So when, that's how far down I went. This is the beginning of her knees right here, like where her tail is. So I'm going to put this back, flip you guys around, and do the other side. That back. Hopefully I can get it back the way it went. Oh yeah. Lay down perfectly. Okay. We are going to turn this around. Oops, I have some messages. Just make sure it's not my husband. No, it's not. Okay. Which one's first? This one? I was going to do which one's first. That way I don't tear the thing. Glue comes out a little bit more on this side. So I think, like I said, I think I'm just going to start pulling that glue off instead of putting washi tape down because washi tape's expensive and I don't really use it in general for anything. So, you know. Okay, I feel like the quality of this one's a lot better than the other one for some reason. I don't know. It could just be the design. There is that line there, of course, from the glue, but it doesn't look like it overlaps at all. It looks pretty even. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah. There's always going to be a line there where they meet up when you do the double-sided tape. But I'm pretty happy with this one. Yeah, I just really liking this color whisper store let's see J what color is J because it looks pretty white let's see if I can see J on here is that J right there that's T A 
Where is J? I wish they would put them in order. Like, if they're going to do letters, put them in alphabetical order. Like, they clearly know which letter is what because, you know, they speak English. 3823. So it looks pretty white. I guess it's not. It's probably like a peach color. Okay. So there's that one. That one went by a lot quicker. My timer says I'm at 36 minutes. I'm hoping that I'm not at 36 minutes once I edit this. Try to get it down to 30. Maybe not. Okay, I'm going to quickly do inventory. And I will come back after that because this video is long enough. Okay, since I'm doing inventory, I wanted to take a second and show you guys the 606. So, it is an orange color. I was expecting it to be like a deeper orange. Like, more like this. I don't know, somewhere in between these two colors. But, I don't know, hopefully it comes out okay. I mean, you guys will see it, you know, at some point. So, yeah. Alright, I just wanted to show you guys that. Okay, you guys, everything is also there for this one. I'm going to take a few minutes and try to decide if I want to put these back on the foam roller or lay them flat somewhere. I feel like, well, I guess I could leave them here on my desk. I'm just afraid that I don't have anything to cover them. I do have this mat underneath here. Um, right here. You guys can't even see it because it's black and my desk is dark. I have this mat right here. Um, but it's not very big. Like, it won't cover the whole thing. And I'm just afraid that something, there's like some tape stuck on the back of this canvas. Just afraid that they'll get dirty or they'll get something underneath it. Um, I always forget to put the stupid thing back. I also wanted to show you guys the back of the canvas. Yeah, absolutely perfect. Just the line from the um, tape always shows through for some reason. I think it's where they cut it, to be honest. And then there's a little spot right here. It almost looks like the ink was bleeding through, to be honest. Yeah. Like it got too much ink. Yeah, honestly, you guys, I think I'm just going to have to roll it up until I get, I'd really like like a whole separate craft table. I just have this really gigantic desk. I absolutely love it, but I feel like it's just not as practical. I think I'd like to get an Ikea one that has the desk with a shelf with drawers here and then on that one side has the cube shelves. I know Ikea has them where you can like put the desk into the cube shelf and then it's cube shelves on that side because I feel like it'd be smaller and then get rid of the current desk that I have and then get some other type of storage for the rest of the stuff. But then it would enable me to also get a drafting table and maybe another surface to keep maybe my sewing machine and then I'd be able to lay these flat underneath a cutting mat and then I wouldn't have to worry about protecting them. So, yeah, honestly, I think I'm just gonna have to roll these back up even though I don't want to. And, yeah. So yeah, there's those. I'm gonna stop this video because it's probably over 30 minutes. And even with editing, it's probably still gonna be over 30 minutes. And I still have some more diamond paintings that I wanna show you guys, as well as other videos and some other things that I just really gotta get done. So. I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I absolutely loved it. I'm obsessed with it. And I'll see you guys later.